it's a gigantic uh, project, but it is and will be a cornerstone in the green transition and uh, the reduction of the Danish CO2 uh, emissions. So, of course, that's, that's uh, the, the, the reason we are going to, to do this. Now, of course, it will take some time to, uh, to develop uh, this, this. It's a gigantic uh, construction uh, project. And it will take many years to, to go through the planning and, and building uh, a phase. But we also have other initiatives uh, uh, with shorter uh, timescales. So, of course, this will be in a time, 10 years uh, a time frame. And it will be e expensive. And that's also why we have to build it both smart and future proof. We have to uh, take the, the, all the technologies we know today and put them together in a, in a new way. So it will be uh, cost effective. In saying that, we know Denmark is one of the greener countries in Europe, certainly in the world. I mean, what's the mm. purpose of this when actually there are other countries in Europe that are less uh, good at providing green energy? Is the idea to sell this on or potentially with the money from the Danish state be better spent helping countries like Poland, for example, go green? Um, I... Yeah, now it's a Danish uh, initiative, or at least we have taken the first step. Uh, but this is, uh, at least with time, going to be an international uh, effort. In the North Sea, we have uh, tremendous uh, potential for, for offshore wind. Uh, 180 gigawatt in, in total. That means we can actually shut down all European coal-fired power, power plants by the energy from, from wind in the North Sea. And, and that means we will have, with time, uh, uh, many more uh, islands connecting uh, all the countries uh, around the, the North Sea and where we utilize the whole infrastructure also to connect the different uh, uh, countries, at least that, that division. Um, so it's not only a Danish uh, uh, project.